Yeah. In, this is a Swahili word. Okay. Custard. Mm -hmm. You know Kenyans we don't eat custard. Okay. Yeah. The why? I don't know, our cuisine is just very, very different. Powdered suya, <coughs> og bono. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Even with uh, the Gino, it is okay. very popular. Even in Cameroon? Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, Gino is very popular in Cameroon. Very, very popular. So they sent from Italy to, to Cameroon? I think so. Wild. G Snack break. First of all, we had the issue of logistics to exploit the system. Mm. We have a lot of opportunities. Snack break. So this is Yurich, a good friend of mine and the owner. Yeah. Say hi to my people. Hi to Nuela's fam. <laughs> Subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so <clears throat> I was just wondering that um, about the challenges you have faced as a, a business owner. Okay. All right. Now, well, before I begin, we are in African market. African market is located in Venus um, at um, Calvario Street. To be precise, Calvario 88 is just directly behind the bus stop. It's very accessible for the people that are in Venus. It's very accessible for the people that are just coming to Venus. Maybe you want to use the bus station or you want to use the train station. You know, you can just reach there and take 1G straight to African market. So we are basically a small business in Lithuania. Um, we specialize in yeah, the sales of African grocery products. So, um, I started this business some couple of years ago, I think approximately like three years now. And basically since then, it has always been one challenge to another. Um, first of all, we had the issue of logistics, you know, which has actually been resolved at the moment. Um, second, we have the issue of scarcity, because, uh, Sometimes we get products, you know, at um, expensive prices because those products are very scarce in the market. Mm. Um, we also had um, issues with um, <coughs> the administration as well, you know, because um, in Lithuania there are a lot of laws gov governing the whole grocery business. So, um, but. We thank God that you know we have been able to handle that, and also um, handling the um, all the declaration and all the administrative uh, procedure. I think those are basically um, the most um, um, the most important challenges that I'm facing as a business owner in Lithuania. Because first, um, communication is a problem, you know, and um, some assets too are also a problem because as as a foreigner in Lithuania, we do have some level of limitation in our actions. Mm. So, but you know, I thank God that I have like a very good team. I have I'm working with a very good accountant. He's doing the work, and um, slowly but surely we are getting there. And hopefully one day we're gonna get there. We are still trying to grow up. You can see behind us. You see lots of lots of products. We have blue band. We have tatina. Tatina is very good for Cameroonians. We have the milo. It's like Nutella. Yeah, yeah, it's chocolate. Yeah. Uh, we have the barman mayonnaise. You know, we have we have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. right? So um, we have product like this. You can see this is Max Dog. You know, this is um, Shito. You know, this is also a very, it's from a very good supplier. So guys, if you have like some good suppliers that can actually supply the African market at good, because she did it, at, she, she supplied us like this at a good price. So I think it's going to help the whole business as well. Uh, it's also going to help the whole business as well. And it's also going to help the African community. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking the same, like such companies, it's being imported from Germany. Mm -hmm. while 
people can actually register businesses and produce this and distribute. Yeah, yeah. We have, I think as Africans, we have to, to start thinking uh, wider, mm -hmm. to <coughs> more production, more of catching systems to produce our own thing rather than just continuous consumption. Mm -hmm. This is this is this has always been my thought. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and and also as a businessman, I'm very open to um, to innovation. I'm also open to um, sharing ideas. Mm. So definitely, if you need some kind of business orientation. You can also reach out to me as well. I'm not that selfish, you know. So, You're not. Yeah, so I'm really, I'm ready to give you my experience. I'm ready to help you, you know, um, go through the process. It's, it's, it's not really a difficult. It's not, it's not actually a difficult one. But trust me, with all my experience so far, you know, you guys, we are in a foreign land. You know, we are here. Let's try to implant our values here. You know, let's try to exploit the system. Mm. We have a lot of opportunities. You know, we, we, we can start the businesses. You know, we can make <coughs> things real. You know, we can we can also be multiple owners. Mm. So um, it doesn't matter. In Venus, we have a lot of businesses that are pending that maybe the African community needs to actually exploit. Mm -hmm. In the whole of Venus, we have no bobbing salon, no bobbing shop for Africans. You know, so those those are actually opportunities. That Africans can exploit, you know, we need, we need, we need to actually create the environment. We need to create, we need to bring in our culture in Venus. Yeah. So I'm very open to that, and I'm ready to help. You know, anyone that has some kind of business idea, and wants to actually develop it, and wants, wants to use Lithuania, you know, as the the medium of actually planting the the business idea. Mm. You know, I'm ready to help you for that. There is something you once said that uh, I think it is Crystal Bell you and I were having a conversation about okay. business mm -hmm. and you were, you were saying like you actually don't need money to start a business no okay guys that, that's that's one of the things that a lot of people feel finance is always the last stage of every business mm -hmm. the first is the idea when you have the idea the second stage is how to develop the idea and trust me finance is the last stage if you have your ideas and you have a good strategy on how to develop those ideas with time and strategic discipline yeah strategic mm -hmm. discipline basically with time finance <coughs> is going to come in um if i would just want to do a recap um before i started this business um i think i was a boat a boat driver of the taxi and um initially i had an idea with a friend to start up this business then in the course of the process with the registration and so on you know my friends had to back down mm -hmm. so i took it upon myself the challenge to start up the business you know at that time to be honest i will tell you that my account was empty it was empty but because i believe in what you know i was going in and i had my strategies you know i had the whole plan and the whole set up in my mind you know so it wasn't actually a problem for me so when i did that yeah. now it came the time for the for to bring actually the money into the business at that moment it was very tough trust me guys um but i had i had to sell my car yeah i sold my car honestly i sold my car i was using like um, a toyota cruise at that time so you I sold that car, I think about 5,000, mm. I sold the car and I added with some money that I have mm -hmm. and I started, you know, purchasing some few products and gradually, you know, one important thing about business is that in as much as it acts as a, or it, it yeah, in as much as the business comes in as a revenue generator, mm -hmm. but it also comes in as a saving ground because um, trust me as a businessman there's always this tendency that your accounts will always be zero because when you get one euro you put in the business you get two euros you put in the business you get three euros you put in the business so somehow it's another way of you saving while doing business at the same time so 
I started very small, 20 square meters. Yeah, I and remember. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. A smaller shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm over like 50 square <coughs> meters. So that's, that's actually great. Mm -hmm. And when I started, as I said, it was very difficult. I didn't have the funds. But with time, I was, you know, trying to see how I could get funds. I was adding to the business. And today it's somehow yeah. much more better than the way I started. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm. I have to say that you know starting a business capital is always zero. Okay. I, I don't always see capital as any starting point of a business. Capital is always like the end. You know, have the ideas, you think on the strategy to develop it. Mm. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's gonna be very good. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I'm hungry. We look to the restaurant to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grill time. I think yeah, grill time. Okay. Almost grill time. <laughs> so it's guys, apart, yeah, apart from African market, we do also have African restaurant. It's Actually, the only Day. one. Life this restaurant, you know, yeah, meet 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 one of okay. our loyal customers. Come say hi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, we go to the restaurant for some African delicacies. I'm hungry. See, I'm just eating. Let's go. Let's go. And visit us.